Today we're going to talk about the volume of cylinders. The past couple of days we've been working with the surface area of cylinders. Today we're switching over to volume. Just a couple of things to remember. The volume is the number of cubic units needed to fill a given space. Okay, so it's how much will fit inside, or it's, it's also the amount of space a object takes up. And volume, as remember, remember from volume of rectangular prisms, is always in units cubed. A cylinder, we remember, is a solid figure that has two congruent parallel circles as its bases. So picture a tin can, a Pringles can, something like that. When we're trying to find the volume, the area of the base gives us the number of cubic units it takes in one layer, okay? So we'd find the area of a circle, and that would give us how many cubic units there are in one layer. The height of that cylinder tells us how many layers there are of those cubic units. So I'll give you a minute to go ahead and copy this down before we go to um, examples. So you can pause this and then we'll move on. The formula, the formula we're going to use in words, it's pi times radius times radius times the height. In symbols, you'll see it written a couple of different ways. One way you'll see it is volume equals pi r squared h, or you'll also see it as volume equals capital B times h. The capital B here is actually stands for the area of the base, which is the area of a circle. So here's why we have pi r squared in place of the capital B. Let's take a look at our first example. Our first example is a cylinder that has a radius of 6 feet and a height of 15 feet. We're going to start off with this formula. And so all we have to do is plug in the radius and the height and work the formula out. So when we plug it in, we're going to have volume is equal to pi times the radius squared. The radius is 6, so we plugged in 6, times the height. The height was 15, so we plugged that in. Your calculator, as you know, is going to do the work for you. So if you plug this in exactly like we've written it, and your final answer is going to be volume is equal to 1,695.6 cubic feet, okay? Let's take a look at this one and we'll, we'll go ahead and work our way through this. And we're going to use the same formula. Let's go ahead and list what we, what we know about this. I know that it has a, since this 10 goes all the way across, that's the diameter is equal to 10. It's given the height because the height is the distance between the two bases. So the height is 30. But for our formula, we're going to require to know the radius. We've learned that the relationship between the radius and the diameter is that the radius is half of the diameter. So if we divide this by 2, we know that the radius is 5. So when we plug this into our formula, we're going to say volume is equal to pi times the radius squared, so 5 squared, and then times the height, well the height is 30. So when I multiply that, when you first do it on your calculator, it's going to give you an answer of 750 pi because 5 squared is 25, and 25 times 30 is the 750. So it's 750 pi. When we go ahead and convert that using our conversion key, you're going to find that it gives us a volume of 2,356.2 millimeters cubed. So, volume of a cylinder is simply pi times radius squared times the height, and remember to put it in cubic units. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to take them.